Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. The name of the Most High, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is Yahweh, Bahasham, in the name. All right, of Yahweh Shai, the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, our mediator and high priest, our way back to the Most High. All right, Bahashem in the name of Rachakwadash, which is the Holy Spirit sent from on high in these latter days. All right, all right, from the right hand of the Most High Yahweh, all right, which is through Yahweh Shai, all right, to give us comfort and understanding, all right, and a mind. To call on those names and repent, all right, which is all fulfilled in us receiving the word, all right, which is likened unto Yahweh Shai himself walking with us, all right, as he walked directly with his disciples and his followers at the time where he came in the flesh, all right. And what I wanted to speak on today briefly was how that the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are literally a two edged sword. And one of the things that I always tell brothers is that I've never seen anything, all right, anything in this world affect people the way that this word affects them, all right? Even those who believe, all right, if you look at our behavior, us constantly doing videos, us going out to the highways and the byways, making a fool of ourselves, okay, ultimately it was because we were cut. All right. But some men are cut unto healing. All right. And others are cut to their destruction to ultimately bleed out. All right. And we've seen several men come into the understanding of the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And pretty much as we'll get in the book of Matthew, you know, once persecution arises for the word, whether the persecution be that they have to uh, give up something in this world. All right. Or they have to be, uh, 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 you know, cut. All right. In order for healing. All right. They have to be told about themselves. All right. And that comes through rebuke. You see, that comes through correction. All right. And as the scriptures say, the righteous ultimately smite you. All right. Now, the righteous smiting you, according to the book of Psalms, is medicine. You see what I'm saying? It's medicine, which is healing because you get cut. All right. But ultimately, you getting cut is the heavenly father showing you that he's dealing with you. And giving you a uh, chance to pretty much uh, 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 work on the particular thing or said, you know, uh, 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 area that he wants you to work on for your betterment. All right. But a lot of men, when they get cut, OK, they, they a lot of them bleed out and tap out and tell the most high. Pretty much. I didn't sign up for this, even after knowing what the our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach went through. All right. You even have those who are opposed to this word, but they dedicate their lives to it. OK, meaning they were cut and captivated by the word. And like Vocab Malone is, is, is an example. Sonnetter is an example. All right. You've had various men come into this truth and get cut and either they dedicate their lives into being scoffers. All right. Or they dedicate them lives to trying to get their lick back, even creating a whole doctrine contrary to to what they've been taught all right and they'll do it for years man all right meaning they were cut they, they this word really affects people man all right so that's what i wanted to tap into we're going to start here in the book of uh, hebrews the fourth chapter in the 11th verse it says let us labor therefore to enter into that rest and that's what we're laboring for all right lest any man shall fall after the same example of unbelief you know of our forefathers at the time in Egypt, they were being cut, they were being proven, okay, af after various miracles, all right, but, you know, a lot of them didn't stand the test, all right, you can, you know, read up, you know, pretty much and um, go into that, but the believers, ultimately, the ones who labor, all right, and toil for the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, there's a rest, all right, if you strive lawfully, all right, if you're able to be cut, okay, and at the same time, keep going and build, all right, and that's where you receive healing from, 
All right, because we all have to go through a point of humbling. All right, and when you go into the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai, both men, women, and children are corrected. There's correction and instruction for everyone. All right, and when and as the scriptures say, all scripture is profitable. As a matter of fact, let's get that. What's that? Second Timothy three and sixteen. Second Timothy three and sixteen. Okay. It says, uh, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction. All right. You have reproof and correction. Let's look up those words. OK, reproof for correction, for instruction, for in righteousness. All right. So we're first going to look up the word reproof. Then we're going to look up correction. Then we're going to look up instruction. All right. So the first word reproof in the Greek is in elenkos, elenkos. All right. A proof. All right. That by which a thing is proved or tested. All right. And there's many tests that come through hearing the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. You can be listening to men you hold in high regard and you hear something that that tests you. All right, that test your, uh, your your patience, that cuts you, that challenges you. All right, and right there in your mind, that's where the battle is. And if if you uh, uh, choose to be evil and choose to scoff or mock, there, there's angels there watching and listening to what you say. Conviction, you see? So reproof is for you to feel convicted, for you to be proved or tested. All right, the, the root word. All right. To convict, to refute, confute generally with a suggestion of shame of the person convicted. OK, and that happens all the time. There'll be times when you'll be listening to the apostles and elders or brothers and they'll all right, get on a particular behavior or a pattern or a mindset and you, you feel offended you, because you're getting cut by the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Women, when they listen. OK, I know there's many uh, 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 points where they're cut. You see, but that's ultimately what the word is for, man, because we have to acknowledge our offenses, man, and the deep, dark secrets and the things we think men don't know. The Heavenly Father, through his word, is going to search you out. You see, and that happens on a daily basis, man, to many men's destruction. All right. Uh, you know, admonish, reprove. All right. Demand an explanation. To call to account because there's particular things you may have think uh, thought well you know I'm, I'm good no, no 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 one knows but the word will come out and that right there is 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 is, is re reproof all right so that's when when you're challenged that's when you repent to Yahweh Bashim Shai but you're gonna feel that offense in the flesh first all right so you just have to do better all right um so let's see what the scripture said again. Go right back. This word cut, man. This word really, really cuts, man. All right. Um, hold up. Second Timothy. Okay, I got it right here. Second Timothy three and sixteen. All script scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for for doctrine. All right, for reproof. All right, so we can go to the Old Testament to prove the doctrine to be right. All right, you Christians. For reproof, for correction. The word for correction. All right. Strong's G, 1882. Eponarthosis. Eponarthosis. All right, restoration to an upright or right state. Correction, improvement of life or character. That's what this word is for. Okay. And then the final one was for instruction, I believe, okay? Or correction, all right? It says... Strong's G, 3809, Paidaya, Paidaya. All right, uh, the whole training and education of children, which relates to cultivation, and this is our culture of mind and morals and employs for this purpose now commands and at, at admonish all right 
at at munitions, all right, now reproof and punishments, all right? It also includes the training and care of the body. Wow. So this this truth, it tells you how to take care of yourself. And when Jake, who, you know, the non-believers or, or, or Christians hear us speak about, you know, the things you can and can't eat, you know, a particular mindset and particular thing that this world bigs up, they get cut. They get mad. Therefore, they reject the word, all right, because they want to do what the hell they want to do. OK, and this is the condemnation. Light is come into the world, but men love all right, darkness rather than light. All right. And we have to uh, uh, look at ourselves as children. All right. Because we were what? Born again. And Yahweh Shai himself said, whosoever shall humble himself in, a, I believe, in the book of Matthew, the 18th chapter, as this little child. All right. That's how you're going to be fit for the kingdom of heaven, because a lot of us, we get high minded. On the things that we learned in this world and, you know, particular status we may have had in this world or pride or whatever. And we come into this truth and we try to bring that same mindset and it doesn't work. OK, we have to uh, uh, repent and see ourselves as little children. All right. You know, some of us has been in the, 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 this truth, you know, 10 years, 13 years, 14, 15. You know, our apostles and elders, of course, you know, 30, you know, plus, you know, and that's really when you were born. All right. When you received the Holy Spirit, when you got understanding of what was right and wrong, when you started to understand what the Heavenly Father uh, 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 required, what was clean, what was unclean, what was cool and what was uncool. OK, as a child, you took in that information and you grew. You see, there are things that, you know, us in our 20s, 30s and 40s and 50s <laughs> are, 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 are just now learning that we should have understood. All right. From the time we were four year old going going forward, but we're just now learning and why? Because we've been born again in a spiritual sense, man. And now we're being cultivated in a way of righteousness. Now we have a culture which leads to what? All right. Uh, 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 cultivation of mind and morals, man. Through what? All right. Through what? Through through the doctrine, through reproof, correction. For instruction in righteousness, man. And we've been instructed. And this is why we've been called the sons of God. All right. It's it's ultimately obedience. OK, so this is Hebrews 4 and 12. It says for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword. OK, this is the sharpest. <laughs> all right. Uh, a sword ever. And it's in spirit. See, Esau has the sword. He's blessed with the sword in, 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 in a carnal sense. But see, we're blessed with the sword in a spiritual sense. OK. It says, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of, of soul and spirit. See, it cuts you in the spirit and in, internally. You see. And of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You see, it's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And the word of God is fulfilled in Yahweh. That's where you get the book of Luke. Uh, I believe the second chapter. OK, one of my favorite scriptures. And I'll go right back to Hebrews as well. But that's fulfilled in Yahweh. OK. And we have the word through the, the spirit all right this is uh luke 2 and 34 it says and simeon blessed him and said unto mary his mother behold this child is set for the fall and rising again rising again see the fall and rising again of many in israel all right and for a sign which shall be spoken against okay and that's how you know which 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 true all right, the truth, the true word of Yahweh Bashim Shai and his true followers, because they and the words they speak will be spoken against in a major way. OK, like we bring out reincarnation, people lose their mind, they're cut. OK, because they, they, they think the Heavenly Father is basic like them. Well, the Heavenly Father's on a whole nother level, man. He's far out. OK, spirits don't die. Spirits return to him and he can send that spirit back to the earth. OK. <laughs> What's that scripture? It's in the book of Psalms, I believe. Yeah, 
Yep. Psalms 90 and 3. All right. Thou turnest man to destruction <laughs> and sayest, return ye children of men. So you return. All right. As the scriptures say, truth returns to them who practice it, man. Okay. The, the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahashah have been raised up in these latter days. And you have the scoffers. All right. Those who are in their lot to, to, to be rulers of this world, the elite. All right. And, and, and they're known as the dead because they hate life. The two thirds of our people. They're back in their lot. And Yahweh told them that in, in uh, Matthew, the 23rd chapter, he said, ye are the children of them uh, uh, which killed the prophets. All right. Feel ye then the measure of your fathers. OK. But anyway, Yahweh would be spoken against. All right. Let's read that in the NLT. <laughs> it says, then Simeon blessed him and said, all right, to Mary, the baby's mother, <laughs> the baby's mother. All right. This child is destined to cause many in Israel to fall. All right. Because he's an offense. He's a stumbling block. All right. Telling men that they have to go out to the highways and the byways. OK, that, that's a stumbling block for a lot of men. OK, uh, uh, order in itself. You know, the, 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 the fact that he's the mediator and our way back to the, the most high. There's a lot of men who mock and scoff at that. All right. Because they're made to fall and stumble at that stone. They're offended. And there's so many ways to be offended, man. OK, but he will be a joy to many others. He has been sent as a sign from God, but many will oppose him. And that's ultimately Yahweh and the prophets that he sent. They, they have the same vibe. OK, it says in verse 35, yea, a sword shall pierce through thine own soul also that the thoughts of many hearts, which is your mind, may be revealed. And that's happening in these latter days. You can see that happening even within uh, uh, Israel. OK, the closer we get to the end, the more you are seeing that there's particular men who act as if they're about the word of Yahweh, but they're really about their own bellies. They are really about their own emotions. They don't like to get cut when they get cut. You see their true colors, man. Okay, and this happens on very many levels in Israel, man. The the the, the closer Yahweh gets to the earth, and how is he getting closer to the earth through his word being spoken? Because his prophets receive the word and speak it in this world, all right, and it comes to pass. You see? But the more and closer we get to Yahweh actually coming, the more you're seeing the true intent of men who you thought were reputable individuals the more you're starting to see the true intent of the devil in his plan and his nwo you see what i'm saying everything is being revealed through this word all right which ultimately is the fulfillment of prophecy so the word is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the mind which that's fulfilled in yahweh who is a stumbling block the word is a stumbling block the, 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 uh, the, the men whom the Lord gave the word to, the afflicted and poor, that is a stumbling block. Okay? And people are cut when they see us. They're like, How, who is this degenerate to tell us we can't do, you know? Hebrews 4 and 13. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. Everything is saw and seen. All right? But all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him. All right. With whom uh, we uh, have to do. All right. Everything's open, man. And the angels report the thought. Everything is recorded. All right. Just like at your job on the computer, you know, any input. All right. It's all recorded. Right. Well, <laughs> hey, with your how about Shimei Shai, everything is recorded. Every thought is recorded. You see? So. Hey, as it says here, seeing that we have such a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Yahweh shot a son of God. Let us hold fast. All right. Our profession, man. All right. And this is our profession to profess the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai. OK, which cut people. All right. This is the book of Matthew 13 and 20. Everybody gets cut by this word, but it's either to your uh, your healing or to your destruction, man. You see, most of our people have the mind of Esau. They go tell the most high what he can and can't do. Okay? 
bringing out the true intent of the Heavenly Father, bringing out the laws, men are really offended. You have particular camps who, you know, they, they always talk about the law and how much they love the most high. But then when you bring out particular laws that are an offense in this Western culture, they get mad. You don't think the Heavenly Father is going to require that of you? You were you you were ashamed of his word in this wicked generation? Let's get that. Mark 8 and 38. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation. You see, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels. So you're not going to, he ain't going to cut for you. You didn't cut for him. Okay. Even the laws we know we can't implement in this society, we still can go into them and show you how it was because all scripture, okay, is given by the inspiration of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and it's profitable for doctrine. You see? So, the, yeah, we even laws that we haven't seen implemented, we trust that if they were, things would be better. Okay? This is Matthew 13 and 20. But he that receiveth the seed in stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and anon with joy, and receiveth. I'm an Israelite. Yes! You know what I'm saying? We put on the fringes, this, that. But then when you have to start living being an Israelite, in this society, when you have to live with being around brothers or listening to teachers who who, who say things that, that, that challenge you, challenge what you're about, challenge particular mindsets you have. You see? Yet he have not root in himself because a lot of our people are rooted in evil and wickedness, man. Okay? Proverbs 12 and 3. A man shall not be established by wickedness. There's no root in that. Basically, ultimately... You're eventually going to fall, man. But the root of the righteous shall not be moved, man. So a lot of our people, you know, uh, uh, jabbing up. Okay. Uh, pretty much, you know, going and, you know, taking on the science and bowing to the image of Baal. There's no root in that, man. You can't, you're not going to be established by that. You're going to be shaken when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai comes because you were ashamed of him. You see? So a lot of you, okay, you have not root in yourself and endure for a while for when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, you see that? By and by he is offended. And see, many challenges are coming unto us via this word going down the pipe. You see, and a lot of people get mad. You know, y'all don't give Israel any hope. We always give you hope. The hope is in the prophecies being fulfilled. But we're telling you via prophecy, there's a straight gate you have to walk through. Now, we're already going through the straight gate. All right. We're in Babylon, the great, the shadow of death. But it's only going to get straighter as we get all right to that point. But then there's going to be a point that through your obedience, through your, your, your intent, you're going to be justified. You see? So a lot of people receive the word, but they're offended. When tribulation or persecution arise it, man. Okay, and that comes in many forms. Okay? This is Psalms 119 and 130. The entrance of thy words giveth light. Alright? It giveth understanding to the simple. Alright? And, and and this is true light. But what does it say about light? In the book of John, the third chapter, man. John 3 and 19. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. All right. And you can try to justify darkness in your mind or justify a particular mindset about something and, and, and think you're good. But there's going to come a point where that's going to be challenged through the word being preached through you being around the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, through you listening to this word. You're going to eventually be challenged and cut. You see, you're supposed to get cut. You see? But men, when they get cut, which is light, the, the, the cut is like, oh shit. You know? That's the Lord showing you, you hey, don't don't walk that way. Walk this way. Then when, when, once you start walking in the right way, you, you your, your wound is healed, man. You see? 
like a tree. When you cut a tree, a, a tree is healed by what? The sap that's inside of it, man. You see, and that's why we're, we're, we're likened unto trees, but we're being healed, man. We were cut, you know, the branches were broken, but now we're being healed through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. But in order to be healed, you got to, hey, as it says here, all right? For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest this deed should be reproved. And that's what happens via the word. When people are walking by and they're listening to us, they're, they're getting cut, but in their mind, they're saying something wicked about us and, you know, the uh, being a demon, getting offended, calling the police, figuring out, devising plans to destroy our lives, you know. <laughs> but he that doeth the truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in the most high God, man. All right. That's heavy, man. That's heavy. <laughs> All right. Uh, but. Those who do what God, what is right. Let me, let me stop. All right. In the NLT, it says, but those who do what is right come to the light so others can see that they are doing what God wants. Okay. And you, hey, and this is the light. Okay. The light is what establishes you, man. Okay. And, and you've seen various acts of persecution to the men of the Lord. You know, a, a perfect example is here in Acts, the fifth chapter. Okay, where the men of the Lord, the, the followers of Yahweh were teaching, and pretty much those of the circumcision, all right, hey, they came with, with violence, man, and took them to the council and said, what did they say in verse 28? Saying, did we not straightly command you that you should not teach in this name? And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood upon us because they were getting cut. Watch this. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. They were persecuted. Now, a lot of people, when 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 this type of persecution arises or comes, they pretty much tell the Heavenly Father, I didn't sign up for this. And they, they, they roll out. They go their way. Whew. You know, that, that whew, you know, spirit. Because this word is like a burden. That's why the scriptures say you have to put on, a, 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 you know, wisdom as a chain and, and, and be bound into her fetters because you're living in the in the valley of the shadow of death you're living amongst darkness man so you you could sometimes have a spirit to you know want to live in darkness or want to be in darkness man and rest in darkness man but you have the word that what keeps you on the right path man cuts you all right tells you where you're wrong and then pretty much you're healed man and as the scriptures say, there's a shame that bring it, uh, uh, you know, destruction. And there's a shame that bring it life, man. Okay. So being cut is it's a part of this. Hey, David was cut. You see. Many of our forefathers went through the, the, the cutting process, man. You know, they, they got cut. Hey, the, the, now you don't read anything negative about the prophet Daniel. But guess what? He was a slave in Babylon. Which was told to Hezekiah by Isaiah that his seed, which was the seed of the royal uh, lineage of David, would be uh, eunuchs, you know, pretty much in, in Babylon, slaves. You see? He had to go through it. Hey, it was the three holy children, you know, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. What did they say? In, 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 the, in the book, they say, basically, we deserve you know, the reason we're even here is because of our rebellion and the rebellion, rebellious of, you know, forefathers, man. But they cried for mercy and they received it. See, when you acknowledge your offense, okay, when you, you, hey, healing comes, man. But there's a lot of proud ass people, man. You see, because ultimately they don't like the messenger. Now it says, well, this is what Peter told them. You know, we're not going to stop teaching in the name. They said, <laughs> didn't we command you that you should not teach in this name? You see, and behold, you have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine. And that's what they're saying about us. See, and intend to bring this man's blood upon us because we teach the 100 percent truth, man. We don't hold back. Even when it, 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 it you know, it, it doesn't coincide with this world and it puts us in, a, in, a, in harm's way as a prey. We still say it. Now, we use salt, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and seasoning, all right, and honey, 
All right, but 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 with the whole volume of the book, man, there's gonna be things that are offensive to people, man. And we're just reading about one of the offenses. This is just with the the, the those who have the word. You have to preach it, and it, it really messes with people, man. People lose their mind behind this word. Try to destroy your life. Follow you, you know, you know, <laughs> you know. Weird, man. This is some weird shit, man. I've never seen anything make people react like this word does, man. Even when we're out preaching, just people, you know, sometimes you can tell when we're we're getting heavy in the spirit, the spirits around us stir up, man. The God of our fathers that raised up Yahweh Shah, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree, him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior and to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. See that? <laughs> And we are his witnesses for these things. And and so is also the Holy Spirit telling the the, the, the everybody who got the Bible in their hand that Yahweh Shai only came to for Israel. That's offensive, man. People are cut by that. So they try to go to scriptures, the, the, the you know, the Jew and the Greek. Well, what about all the other nations? You can hear this. There's always Jew and Greek. Well, what about Ham? What about Japheth? You know, what about all of these other different nations? What about, do, or do they get it? Or is it just to the Jew and the Greek and everybody else is through? So he came to deliver the nation of Israel. That repentance, he, he, he did that for the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, man. For forgiveness of sins that we may be brought back to the Father, man. And we are his witnesses of these things. And see, as you witness, <laughs> you basically you're a living sword. You get cut too while you're in your, your war, but you're a living, walking sword, man. Weapon of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Mowing down and chopping down these heathen and all of these different philosophies and doctrines, man. All right? Hey, casting down imaginations, okay, and bringing into obedient, uh, uh, obedience the thoughts of who? The, the elect, but eventually the whole world, man, is going to bow to the knee of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. And his men. All right. But what did it say? Verse 333. And when they heard that, they were cut to the heart. And took counsel to slay them. They were cut. <laughs> what's, the, what's the Greek word for cut? They were hurt. All right. Diaprio. To saw asunder, to divide in two, to divide by a saw. They were cut to be sawn through mentally, <laughs> to be rent with vexation. And that's what this word does, man. All right, you have to self examine. And these, these aren't things that these heathen, all right, do. Uh, the, the, the customs of the heathen are vain, man. We haven't learned to, you know, consider our ways and do better and repent and. You know, feel wrong about what we've done. You know, watch what we eat, watch what we do, watch what we say. You see, so the, the, the <laughs> to come into this is a very heavy thing, man. The, the, those men were sawn, and some they were hurt, and that's what's happening. And a lot of people are hurt. Vocab hurt. They're cut by the words, man. They it, it's offensive, offensive unto them. This is a uh, Isaiah forty nine and one. Listen, O owls. Now, what does it say? Salvation reaches. The ends of the earth and how is that going to happen that's going to happen through the new song let's get it real quick all right this is psalms 40 i haven't read this one in a while too psalms chapter 40 and 3 he have put a new song in my mouth all right and we know who has that new song the, the house of david 144,000. all right and david wrote this psalm so this is all in spirit. He has put a new song in my mouth. All right. I Meaning the song of fools is getting ready to be put down. Even praise unto our God, which is offensive in this world. See, many shall see it in fear and shall trust in the Lord. So when that new song is being preached, many are going to see it and be cut. But they're going to fear and trust. See? See? But there's there's a there, there's way more who are going to hear it and be offended and not change. Not fear. See, and they're going to trust in the left hand. They're going to trust in the God of this world, which is setting you all up for the okie doke. 
Blessed is the man that maketh Yahweh his trust and respected not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. And you have many that have done that, all right, but you're, you're going to have the remnant, okay? Now, real quick, this is Isaiah 49 and 1. Listen, O owls, unto me, and hearken, ye people, from far the Lord have called me from the womb. And these are the, you know, starting ultimately with Yahawashai, all right, in the heavens, and us being chosen in the heavens. Ultimately, we were we were called, we were born and ordained to do this from the foundation of the earth, man. Starting with Yahawashai, all right, and then his men. Okay, now listen to this. And this is Isaiah speaking. And he's one of those men. It says, the Lord hath called me from the womb. From the bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name. You see that? Like he told Jeremiah. You know, basically, we're born of the Holy Spirit. You're born all right, and instructed to do the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai. It's in you. He called you for that purpose. And you should never fail. It says, and he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. You see that? In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me. As the scriptures say, hey, their righteousness is of me. Matter of fact, we're going to get that. All right. Isaiah 54. And 17. You know, we're like a sharp to walking. You know, that's why we don't need no goddamn guns. All right. Psalms 54 and 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Why? Because we're hidden in the hands of the Lord. As we're going to go back to. Okay. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. All right. And, and that's knowingly and unknowingly. Those that we hear and those that we don't hear. We're here to ultimately cut you with the word. Okay. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh, and their righteousness is of me. Say of the Lord. See, our righteousness is not of ourselves. We don't come out on our own authority. We were sent literally by the most high. All right, through his son, it says, and have made my mouth like a sharp sword in the shadow of his hand as he hit me and made me a polished shaft. All right, because the angels are literally guiding you. OK, so within the story, you're made to win and overcome. You see? <laughs> and he made me a polished shaft in his quiver as he hid me. And that's what we are. We're the hidden ones, man. OK, now we're out openly telling you. All right, the will of the Lord, man, and you people are offended. All right, a lot of you are offended because you don't have, the, a lot of men are offended because they don't have the balls to really do it or stand for anything, so they have to find fault with it, you know? It says, and said unto me, thou art my servant, O Israel, all right, in whom I, am I will be glorified. Then said I, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength for naught in vain, yet surely my judgment is with the Lord and my God and my work with my God. You know, you get frustrated as you preach this word because of the opposition. It says, and now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again, though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord and my and, and God shall be my strength. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. All right. And that's what we're set up to do. All right. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles. All right. Which ultimately are our people or who are going to be cut. You see what I'm saying? Because the circumcision is symbolic ultimately of the circumcision of the spirit. Those who ultimately will be cut. All right. To the point where all of that excess filth is is cut off to be acceptable who are going to repent okay who are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth man following idols but but through the word they turn back when they're cut that thou mayest be salvation okay that thou mayest be salvation unto the ends of the earth because the new song all right leads to salvation man all right so let's see here Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, and his Holy One, to him whom man despiseth, <laughs> Yahweh shy, man, to him whom the nations abhor it, to a servant of, of rulers, all right, kings shall see and praise, princes shall also worship. See, 
because of Yahweh that is faithful and the Holy One of Israel, and he shall choose thee, man. Okay? So, I'm going to leave it off there. Hopefully, I will edify it. On to the next one. Shalom.